Hey guys, I have a little uh, test for you. We're gonna play some music. We're gonna use some copyright free music. So it's not uh, the top 100 or any billboard music, but it's, it's music. So you can get a little um, listen to what's going on. Uh, who do we have here today? Well, we have the Sony Mega D1 on the bottom. We have the uh, Realistic Nova 6. And we have the Infinity QE speakers. So who has the best sound? Let's get to it. I'm using my cell phone to record on. Um, I'm using uh, my tablet to as a source. We use the Phoenix Gold in-home ISM6 uh, speaker selector. We have put Ceramega on zone number one. We have put uh, Infinity on zone number three. And we have put Realistic on zone, zone number five, I think it is. Um, all, um, like balance is in middle, so there's like, it's in balance. Treble and bass are in neutral, no loudness is on. We're using an Ankyo, um, receiver. I think it's around 67, 60, 70, 75 watt or something like that. Uh, so let's just jump straight into it. So number one is now engaged. That is the Sony Vega D1. And I'm going to put the volume up at 20 on the volume wheel. That's 12 o'clock. say right off to start off with is the Cern Vegas are refoamed they um, they are pretty loud for being so small uh, they two ways 8 inch woofer and a horn tweeter um, nice deep bass with a lot of punch um, from what I could hear with the instruments in the mid-range area very nice and detailed very nice and crisp tweeters i really like the d1s i i always like the smaller Sony vegas i want to say that d1 is probably one of the better smaller ones that they have made so i like the sound in them uh very detailed very nice sound now let's jump to um the middle one here i'm gonna disengage Sony vega i'm gonna engage infinity so you just see that i don't cheat i'm gonna put it at 20. And it stopped. Oh, there it comes. Oh, wow. Wow, what a difference. What a difference. Okay. Oh, that is the uh, Infinity QE with Emmet tweeters. They also have an 8 inch woofer, I think it is. If it's maybe not a 10. Um, wow, what can I say? I uh, listened to these first and then I went up there, and what a freaking difference! Um, I'm really freaking disappointed by the Infinity. They sound like shit compared to the D1.
I'm sorry. These Infinity speakers sound like freaking shit. The bass is muddy. There's no punch. There, the mid range is very uh, almost like you're playing behind a thick, thick blanket, and the tweeters are almost non-present. And the volume, the loud, the, the how you perceive the loud sound. It, I mean, it is. It's not even close to being as loud as the Surin Vegas. Everything with the Surin Vegas was more detailed, more prominent, way more, more, more uh, nice to listen to. That was. I mean, I, that was that was a big difference. Now let's go and check out the uh, realistic Nova Six. So we're gonna disengage the Infinity. Engage the uh, realistic. I'm gonna put it at 20, which is new. What we do here is go back, back, oh. back, 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 back. Yeah, they were, um, the realistic really surprised me. Um, they're very bright. They have punch, they have bass, they, they, they're detailed, but I feel like they're like, it's almost like there's a gap between the, the bass and the, and the highs. A little bit pulled back mids on these realistic, but they sound good. But there was like, it was almost like there was something missing in the mid range area, if you know what I mean. It was very bright, very very detailed in the high frequency area, and it had good punch, but I felt there was something lacking in the mid mid area and the mid range and, and stuff like that. Compared to the Cern Vegas, they were way closer to the Cern Vega in, in Cern Vegas in, in output and how loud they played. Um that's for sure. Do they have the same um cohesive sound from uh, all the way from the bottom up to the top? No, they don't. Um, I feel there's something there was something lacking in the mid-range area, but they are way 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 better than that shit on top there Because that was crap. I should have put some other speakers up there, but I wanted to test those Infinity speakers up against the D1. I always wanted to do that So let's do let's do some jumping back and forth between the speakers right now. It's the realistic um, Nova 6 <laughs> Nice bass, nice high, maybe a little bit uh, pulled back in the mid range area. I like the sound in them. Now let's go to the infinity. I do not like those. Now, Sir and Vega. Now 
now let's do the re realistic again. Okay, let me do some changes there. Hey guys, I have my COVID-19 beard. I have decided not to shave until the lockdown is over. This is going to be, because I've never been in a lockdown like this before, so I'm, I'm going to see how far it gets out, how long it gets before I have to shave it. Okay, let's get back to the test, okay? Cern Vega D1, Realistic Nova 6, and Infinity QE. What a night and day test this was. I was expecting the QE to uh, be able to um, compete with um, at least the realistic. Uh, maybe even uh, give Sir Mega a run for their money. But um, cheers, a little coke. Um, but that was not it. Holy crap, what a difference these three speakers really are. And, and it, it, I mean, when I record it now, yeah, I wasn't far away, but it wouldn't make any difference on the sound character, characteristics of the speaker. <clears throat> so you get kind of like a just of it, because I, right now it's chaos in here. Uh, so I was probably recording about five, six feet away. You could probably see that because I couldn't get the full width of the recording with the other speakers. Um, so let's start on the top. Let's start with the Infinity QE. I am really freaking disappointed. I am so disappointed in them that I even deleted my sales ad on eBay. I can't sell that crap. People are not going to be satisfied with that. That sounds so terrible. I, 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 it's almost like I'm suspecting that there's something going on with the um, crossover. Uh, maybe it needs new caps. Uh, because, I mean, the Infinity should sound better than this. It sounded a little bit better on song number two and three. The first time I listened to it, it was just no, no. And before I started recording, I played some music that I like. Heavy metal, um, progressive metal. I played a group called Keldian uh, and a song called Never Existed, which is a very high energy sound and song with a lot of instruments, guitars, cymbals, drums, high pitch noise, uh, um, um, voice. And it sounded so muddy on heavy metal, very muddy. Uh, and on progressive metal, same thing. I even did um, Dire Straits, Sultan of Swing. Um, I, I was not happy. Um, but uh, you know, when I that was when I was like listening to it by itself. So I was like, okay, I hadn't played the Nova Six yet. So I was like, okay, maybe it can beat the Nova Six. I hadn't put on the Sir Vega D1 yet, so I was like, I didn't have any reference points. But I first time I listened to the QE, way, way back, it was just a quick one. Um, I don't remember what it was. I think it was Celine Dion and Tina Turner songs and stuff like that. And I didn't pay too much attention to it. I was like, I was just checking to see if they worked. Um, but now, when I listened to them now, I was like, holy crap. Oh my God. Wow. This is really crappy shit. And not crappy shit good. It's crappy shit fucking bad. Sorry, my, excuse my French. Um, this is probably one of the speakers over the last 25 years that I had high expectations of and that really, really disappointed me in a huge way. I mean, I deleted my eBay ad. I had them listed on eBay with eight watchers. I can't sell these the way they sound now. Because they sound way too bad. If someone buys this from me on eBay, I'm going to get a, a negative feedback. 
guaranteed. They sound so terrible. The bass is muddy. It's it's not distinctive. There is no punch. There is no. There's nothing there. It's just all grunge, grubby thing. The mids, they are not. They're non-existent. They're they're gone. And the tweeter, ah, it lacks high frequency. And I, that is weird because it has this these Emmet Twitter that I have always liked. So I'm kind of like suspecting that I have to open them up and take a look at the uh, crossover and possibly, possibly recap the crossovers. I have to see. I, I don't know what the crossover looks like. Um, it's a two way. Maybe they have just used capacitors, single, cheap 6 dB something. I don't know. I have to check it out. So very, very, very disappointed with them. They, they didn't stand a chance. The realistics, Nova Six are almost high end compared to that crap on top there. Okay. Now let's go to the realistic Nova Six. Realistic is a brand that can be a hit or miss in many ways. Receivers, speakers, all that kind of stuff. You can get stuff that sounds really good, that uh, that functions good, that performs really good. And then you get other stuff that you're like, nah, mm, nah, mm. you know? I have listened to their big brother over here that I have back here. And that's the Nova 8S or Nova 8B or something like that. They're quite a bit larger than these. But I have to say that the realistic Nova 6 really, as much as the Infinity disappointed me, the Nova 6 really surprised me. I was impressed with them. Um, they are way better. Way better than the Infinity right now. The way it sits right now. Very detailed. Good high frequency reproduction. Didn't kind of like pierce my ears in any way. Or sounded stressed or anything like that. The... High frequency reproduction in these speakers was really nice. The bass was kind of maybe the, the part that surprised me the most. They kind of like was tagging along with Sarah and Vega, not far behind. They were tagging along in the bass area. Where they kind of like missed and dropped the ball was in the mid range and in the transition between low and high frequency. There was always, I could hear there was something there, but it, it was kind of like, if you think about, you have high frequency and, and low frequency, and it's in your face, or it's, it's present, it's there, you, you kind of like go like, oh yeah, that's a good bass, that's a good high. And, but then <clears throat> the mid frequency, the mid range, is kind of like tugged behind. Um, that can be um, probably due to the crossover point. I suspect the crossover point to be a little bit too low. Maybe, maybe even now, I, I want to say too low. So you're missing kind of like that area. I, I don't know. Where, to be honest, I have no clue where they have crossed it. Um, so that's something that I have to find out. What, 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 are, what is the crossover points on these? Because there is like, you have good bottom and you have good top. But there's something like, something in the middle here that's kind of like pulled back a little bit. It's almost like it's muted to one or two decibels, maybe three decibels, compared to the high and the bottom, and that can be that can be a crossover construction uh, that and, and design that do that. But they sounded good. I what I what I heard, I liked. It was just like I wanted something more in that mid area, but the bass in this really surprised me. Crisp and nice highs. I mean, I would buy these. Realistic Nova 6 over these Infinity QE. If this is how it is, every time with every pair, it doesn't matter which pair it is. If this is the result every time, I'll, I'll go with the Realistic Nova 6 over the Infinity. Mm. No doubt. No doubt. Now, let's see if I can get the, the camera down a little bit. Let's see. Maybe we can have it right there you probably see a little bit on it right there okay those are the d9 you, you saw the video so you know how what they look like now 
everyone says, oh, you're biased because you're a Sorin Vega dude. Maybe, maybe, but you have to think about this. When I, I am, I'm willing to admit that certain speakers in a test will sound better than my favorite pair of speakers because I'm not here to satisfy myself. I'm making a video for you guys and I'm telling you the, you guys the way it is, the way I hear it. And it's very, very subjective or objective or whatever you want to say, how we listen to sound. But if I'm going to do a test for you guys, I'm going to try and tell you details and how they dif differentiate themselves from each other. Um, the Sir Vega was totally overall the best sounding speaker of these three. Not even close. The competition was not even close. The one that came the closest was the realistic. Where the Sir Vega took the, the victory is because they had a, a better full range sound, like from the bottom to the top. It was more cohesive, there was no gaps, nothing was missing, nothing stood out as too much. The bass was there, yeah, it had more bass than the realistic and way more bass and w way more punchy and way more defined and deeper bass than Infinity. The, the highs, I like the tweeter that they use in the D-series. It's kind of like a, a very nice foster horn uh, construction. And um, I always liked that tweeter. In a two-way system like this with an eight-inch woofer and that tweeter, um, I like the sound. It, it didn't miss anything. And what Sir Vega really managed to do was the crossover point in this speaker is set at a correct place so you don't miss out on anything. It's not like, oh, something is missing, you know, or you're looking for something or trying to listen for something. What you hear is the full spectrum of sound. And I like the, the high frequency in the Sarin Vega. I like the mids. I like the bottom end of it. And um, the thing, though, is these speakers are, um, they're all in the same size kind of group, if you know what I mean. Let me get something, okay? Just so you guys know, and so it's there's no doubt about it. I'm in mean, a little measuring tape. So the Sertan Vega D1 is 20 inches high. It's about 10 inches deep and about 11 inches wide. So 20 by 11 by 10. The uh, realistic is. Um, 19 high, 10 deep, and 11 wide. So the Sarin Vega is only one inch taller. The uh, Infinity is 18 high, 10 deep, and 12 wide. So they're a little bit n not as high, but they're wider than the other two. Um, about the same depth. So these speakers are absolutely comparable um, and they're, they should be compared to each other. They have the same, uh, basically the same size uh, and basically the same size of woofers and drivers. They're all eight inch woofers. They're all two ways. Um, let me check one thing. I haven't checked that. Okay, yeah. Sealed construction, sealed construction, and Sorin Vega is uh, a ported one, has a base reflex cabinet. That can also influence on the sound, which means that the Sorin Vega is boosting their sound in certain frequencies with a port. Uh, so, of course, that can be an explanation for more bass. But um, it's the overall sound, how each one of these stack up against each other. Um, 
So the ranking is in first place, Sarah and Vega. The second place is Realistic, and in last place, Infinity. Do I recommend the Realistic Nova Six? Absolutely. They surprised the shit out of me, and um, I I was pleasantly surprised. I like the sound in them. I believe if there's a crossover in there, and if they haven't cheaped out and done a very, you know, generic, easy way with just capacitors on the, on, on the uh, tweeter, if there's a dedicated crossover in here of some quality, I would think that if you changed the um, crossover point a little bit and maybe upgrade it with some better caps, these will sound freaking amazing. They, they sound good now. Maybe just recapping them will make the mid-range come to life again. Uh, it's, it's there. The mid-range is there, but it's just like, it sounded like you had like a cloth or something in front of it in a way um but it's way more prom prominent than in the infinity so um i like the look of the realistic i have to say they kind of do that um don't they they do that sansui pie older pioneer look um maybe on purpose because I mean, realistic, they, they kind of went after Pioneer many times. They got sued by Pioneer once too. So maybe they had a black Pioneer as a thorn in their sight and they wanted to stick it to you, Pioneer. So I, I, like, the, I like the look, I like the sound. Um, it's a well-constructed speaker. Very, very nice construction. The Infinity is well-built, nice construction. Um, that, I'm not going to say anything about that. It's a solid cabinet. Um, the Sarah Vegas are way heavier and way more solid built than both of them. And they have a thicker, uh, they have used thicker woods. I can feel it. You want to know? You want to know how thick their woods are? Let's see. Yeah, the Surin Vega is almost an inch thick. Let me do this. It's easier. The Surin Vega is 7 8 thickness. And the realistic is. It depends if they have used a baffle or a cutout, uh, but what I'm seeing here is 5 8. If there is a cutout with a baffle in the inside to rest the back uh, plate on it, which I don't think it is, uh, then it might go up to 3 quarter. Um, but right now it looks like a 5 8. Um, And Infinity looks to be three quarter inch. So the Sarah Vega cabinet is a little bit uh, more solid built. I spent a little bit more money on the wood. Now, where the realistic kind of takes it um, from the other two is the Infinity has a fake vinyl veneer. I hate that shit, but it's okay. But I guess, but. I just really hate it. Um, it's just so cheaply looking. So the Infinity has a fake uh, vinyl veneer. The Stern Vega has a fake vinyl veneer. Uh, the Realistic has real wood veneer. So in that department, the um, Realistic wins that one. Um, but then again, plastic grill. Not, not what I recommend. Um, but then again, it's cheaper than, you know, cutting out wood and stuff like that. So, so sorry, Mega in first place, realistic in second and infinity in the last place. What I think I'm going to do with these infinity speakers, because the way they sound, no one is going to buy them. I mean, they sound terrible. I mean, I... I have heard a lot of crappy speakers in my life. 
I want to say that this is absolutely among top 10 most crappy speakers I ever heard. That I ever heard. And I'm not freaking lying about it. This was such a downfall. When it was just, oh my god, what's going on? You know? I had way bigger expectations than this. And it just let me down. It was, it was, no. Such a crappy thing. I don't know. I, I, I do not recommend them. Uh, absolutely not. But then again, I have to do, I'm going to give them justice. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do that. I'm going to open them up when I have time. And I'm going to take a look at the crossover. And see if, how it's made. And I'm going to try and, and recap them before I do another test. And after I recap them, I'm going to do another test. If they sound the same or slightly the same, nah. Not even, no. So if that's the truth, if that's their true color, I know what I'm going to do with them. I'm going to part them out, take the grill off, take the woofer out, take the tweeters out, and sell it part out. Can't sell this crap. This is crap. I am shocked. Um, Infinity normally puts out good products, okay? Well, I, I know. They're old. <clears throat> and age ha takes a toll on you. But so are the realistic. They're old too. But they sound ten times better than the freaking Infinity. So, um, there you have it, guys. Stare far away from the Infinity QE. Um, you will not be happy if you buy it. And, and people are asking like 100, 150 bucks for them. They're not worth it. I had them on eBay for 125 and I could not justify having them on there for that. So I took them off. I ended my listing right before I started recording this video. Because I, before I did the video, and before I did the test, like, head to head, I listened to them. I was like, what's going on here? But then I thought, like, okay, I haven't listened to the other ones yet, so I, I can't really say anything. But the first thing that, that kind of, like, hit me was, you have to end the listing. No one is going to no be happy with buying this. And when I started listening to them, comparing them, f switching back and forth, that just solidified everything that I was like, nah, no, no, no. What a piece of shit. Well, I think I said shit and crap enough in this video. So um, I'm going to leave it with that. If you want good sound from a small speaker, Sony Vega D1, we will give you a complete nice sound. The Realistic Nova 6 is a very, very good contender. And if you want to go that route, absolutely recommended so realistic nova 6 and certain vega d1 are both recommended but certain vega d1 takes the nudge on this one and are the winner have a nice time